Hey everybody, it's John, AKA Smelly Telly, and I'm here on another beautiful day in Evansville, Indiana. You gotta trust me, when we do these videos, it's lovely out for some reason, I don't know. And today we're gonna be talking about this, which is a telly. It's all you need to know, see you later. Just kidding. So, yes, it's a telly, right? But it's kind of a special telly. Now, every once in a while we get a guitar that kind of comes through here that both Larry and I are like this. Pretty good one, uh, pretty good. This one is, it's a uh, it's pretty good one. So let's get into the specs of it, what it is, and we'll give it a rundown and I'll give you some tone samples to check out. This is the Fender commemorative 75th anniversary Telecaster. So 75th anniversary, it's not the 75th anniversary of the Tele, it's 75th anniversary of Fender, basically. So. Leo Fender started the company way back when, 75 years ago. I didn't do the math, I'm sorry. Don't make me do it on the spot. And uh, what Fender did this year is they've got kind of two different lines. This is the commemorative version, which is a fancy way of saying it's a little bit more upscale. And then they've got like their standard run as well. And so, uh, and we've got both. If you got questions about them, you can contact us about both series. But we wanted to do this one because like, I swear, out of the box, we were both like, it was even in tune out of the box. It was set up great, feels fantastic. So this is the one that we picked. Uh, they are doing this for Telecaster, the Stratocaster, Precision Bass, and also the Jazz Bass. So if you're a Strat guy, they've got one. And precision Bass, Jazz Bass, I don't play bass, so I don't really know the difference. So they've all got four strings and go boom, boom, boom. So we're gonna talk about the Tele because this is the one I'm holding. First of all, it is big picture, it's a telly. There's nothing too radically different about it, but the upgrades they've done to it makes it, in my opinion, a better playing guitar, a, a more functional, more comfortable, I should say, guitar. And yeah, there's some things on here that definitely kind of, you know, makes it look nice and, and celebrates 75 years of Fender. So. We're gonna start with the woods, so maple neck, maple fretboard, and then an ash body. And this particular one, it's a really nice looking piece. Um, Larry will put up some pictures, you'll be able to see, you can see the wood grain, it's really nice. Actually, really pretty fancy looking. Um, the neck satin finish, which I think I say in every video where there's a neck with satin finish, it's just perfect. That's how I like them all. So it has that nice kind of slick feel, doesn't ever get sticky. Um, on the headstock, you'll notice that we have gold tuners with pearloid buttons, which is a nice touch, kind of fancy schmancy, and they're locking, which is, I pretty much just put them, just make it standard. Let's just use locking tuners on everything from now on. So really nice, definitely upscale there. Um, it's the deep C, um, and when I say deep C, don't let that throw you off. It's really, it's just, Perfect. It's not too thin. It's not too thick. It's just right. It's very comfortable. You know, uh, typically I used to like guitars with bigger necks, but I'm finding more and more that this is much more manageable for me. So medium jumbo frets, rolled fret edges. Again, very comfortable. Um, and like I said, this one came out of the box just instantly. Plays great. We get to the body, and we've got our pickups. These are the twisted Tele pickups. So this is just not so much my opinion, but things that I've read on the internet. The twisted telly neck is one that a lot of telly players really like because it's a little bit closer sounding to like a Strat neck pickup. I personally think a Strat neck pickup in this position is just the best way to, to go on a telly, or you could just be like me and never use the neck pickup at all. But Larry and I both agree, this it really is, it's pretty fantastic. We'll go through some sound clips here in a second. And then um, just standard tone and volume. There's nothing different on here. You know, you'll notice all the hardware is gold. Um, again, it's to make it look sh fancy schmancy, just a regular three-way switch. And it actually does have the more like vintage style brass saddles down here, or the barrels, I should say. And it's what I have on mine. Um, and this guitar is intonated perfectly, so absolutely no worries there and it's comfortable the screws are not sticking out down here on the barrels which can be 
kind of annoying. You tell players know what I'm talking about when the you know adjustment screws thicken up just a little bit. These are perfectly smooth, very comfortable. The bridge plate, even though it is kind of sort of vintage, it's cut away. It's contoured right here. So you know, on the vintage style tellies, a lot of times that bridge plate will be will stick up, and sometimes you can kind of get stuck on it. I don't have that problem, but. I, I know, I, I get it, believe me. But yeah, they've kind of cut it away on both sides too. So again, that just makes it more comfortable. The heel on this, I'm not gonna turn the guitar over and mess up the lighting and everything. It's contoured so you can reach all those high up frets, you know. If you like to play up them high up frets, they're right there. And I think that's pretty much all the features to it. Let's go through a couple of sounds. In the little intro there, I was feeling a little funky. I don't know why. Maybe Funky Monday, I don't know. But that was in the middle position. Let's take a listen to the bridge position. We'll start on the clean channel of, you know, my favorite amp in the store, the Car, car Slant V. Effortless. I'm telling you, this is a great playing guitar. Let's go to the neck pickup, and I do think it has a little bit of that strattiness to it. Let's try out some dirty sounds. I'm going to stay on the neck pickup. That sounds awesome. There's definitely hints of strat in there for sure. I may have to get one of these pickups for my deli. I'm not kidding. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. All right, middle position with some dirt. position. Definitely biting. I would love to hear that pickup with the fuzz pedal. Can we go get a fuzz pedal, Larry? Oh, he said, yeah, I was teasing him because he hates fuzz pedals. <laughs> but we will. Some won't be on camera, but we pro if I have time, I probably will. <laughs> Pretty cool. I dig it. All right. So uh, I'm going to probably take this back to my room and love on it for a little while <laughs> for, before my first student gets here because I'm really, really quite taken with this guitar. Uh, I have no idea how long this one will stay in stock. We just got it out of the box. So if you see this video, you might want to call as fast as you can because generally when the word gets out, when the word gets out, uh, they don't last very long. So if you do have any questions about this, of course, you can get a hold of us. Uh, you can come in and see us here in Evansville, Indiana, or you can send us an email, or you can contact us through uh, moreguitars, uh, moreguitars.com. Um, and... I think that's going to be all I'm going to say about this. I almost kind of hope that maybe no one will buy it and it'll sit here long enough that maybe I could get a discount on it because it's pretty fantastic. Yeah. 
So I am smitten again. This is just dangerous work from a guy like me to be doing, playing these wonderful guitars. But I do dig it. So Fender, I'm definitely kudos to you all for making a pretty fantastic guitar. And I would say absolutely worthy of the moniker of, you know, 75th anniversary. By the way, there is like a badge on the back of the headstock. And then the, um, the neck plate back here has it's inscribed 75th anniversary. So that does make it also a little bit of a collectible. I hope whoever buys this, it's not just to look at. I hope that you buy this and you just play it and play it and play it for like 75 years. It'd be awesome. Anyway, my name's John. You can call me Smelly. I appreciate you hanging out with us and I will see you in the next video.